Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday School. I hope you had a great week. I'm so happy that we get to all be together in person again today, and I hope to see you all at church. I'm not sure how many of you guys um, joined us for watching our online WOW VBS event, but if you did, I am so glad you did, and I hope you enjoyed it. But if you didn't, that's okay, don't worry about it. We're gonna go over um, what we learned at that event <clears throat> um, and do a little overview for today's Sunday School lesson. While we hosted it, we got to sing awesome songs, memorize verses, watch magical <clears throat> magician tricks, and listen to Bible stories. It was really cool, and I hope that you guys loved it. On day one, we talked about courage. Our theme verse was from Philippians 4.13, which says, I can do all, th all things through him who strengthens me. But if we back up one verse to verse 12, it says, I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. Think about what it means to be in need, to be hungry, or to live without things you need. Scripture tells us that we can be happy and content under any circumstance. But the only way we can do that is through Christ who gives us strength. God gives us the courage to live in His peace regardless of our circumstance. We talked about in about how Peter in um, Matthew 14, how he jumped out of the boat and he walked to Jesus on the water. That definitely takes courage and faith in Jesus to do that. And we can do that too in, in our circumstances, no matter what that may be. Then on day two, we talked about hope. We talked about the time in John 11, 1 through 44, about Lazarus. I'm sure many of you guys know the story, but if you don't, it's about a man named Lazarus, and he was very sick. And his sisters, Martha and Mary, sent word to Jesus to come and help. And they were really, really afraid because they thought he was going to die. But before Jesus came, he did die. And by that time, that Jesus, when Jesus finally arrived, he had, or Lazarus had already been dead in the tomb for four days. But when Jesus got there, his sisters were upset, saying, Jesus, if you had been here, our brother would not have died. But then Jesus commanded them to roll the stone away. And he called out, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out. Our, the scriptures tell us that the hope of Jesus never ends. And when we are tired, our strength will be renewed. When our hope is gone, we need to look to Jesus, who will fill us with hope. We were reminded to put our hope in Jesus no matter what is happen happening around us. Then on day three, we talked about help. Now I'm sure many of you know the story of the Good Samaritan from Luke 10, 25 through 37. The one where the man was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho and he was beaten up and then he was robbed and the people left him to die on the side of the road. But then a priest came along, he looked at him, and then he moved to the opposite side of the road and passed him by. Then a Levite came along, and he passed him by too. And then finally, a Samaritan came by, who felt bad for him and showed him kindness. The good Samaritan picked the man up, put him on his donkey, and took him to an inn. Not only did he take him to the inn and care of him, and take care of him, but he also paid for all his needs. And there was a total, so there was a total of three men who passed by this beaten up man, but only one of them showed compassion. God desires to give us help and to give us life, a true, deep, God-centered life. And so that's what we talked about on day three. Then on day four, we talked about love. We discussed the parable of the prodigal son. It's a story about when a son demands from his dad his entire inheritance, which is something he would receive after his father had died. And so his father was kind of hurt. And he was really sad. But he gave, him, he gave this, his son his share of the family fortune. And the man sold his share and took all the money. And with that money, he traveled and spent his money on whatever he liked. But soon enough, his money ran out. And so did his friends. And he was so desperate for work that when, that when he wanted to go work for a man who sent him to feed pigs. And while he was working in the pig pen, he kind of thought about the mess he had made of his life and thinking back. Um, and he thought about his father and the home he had left behind. And he thought that, even his father's servants live better than this. 
So he returned to his father to ask for forgiveness and a job <clears throat> as one of his servants. When he returned, his father welcomed him with open arms, but he didn't take him as a servant. He took him as his son instead because he loved him so much. And this is a beautiful picture of the way God loves us. The father in the story had every right to turn the son away and tell him to go away and never come back. But that's not what he does. He opens his arms wide and runs to meet him with joy. That's what God does for us too. This story helps us to see the deep love that God has for his children. It was such an encouraging week and thank you to everybody who did participate. And if you have any pictures, we would still love to see them. And so that's all we have for this week. I'll see you guys again soon.